original anomaly! The spider that gave you your powers wasn't from your dimension! You're a mistake! Heard you untied to the mob. Heard that you trying to get involved with Heard that you trying to come ball with We don't do this shit at all. Uh, I'll be waiting on y'all. Y'all just be waiting on ball. Y'all be on shit. Nothing at all. Come on. That was funny. <clears throat> Buddy, he's huge. Jesus. I'm literally this dimension's one and only Spider-Man. Literally. Right. Well, he's big. Let's get him out of the box. Here we are with SH Figuarts Spider-Man 2099. And boy, is this guy covered in detail. They took their time sculpting him making sure that they tried to get every single detail that probably was on miguel in the movie things i didn't even notice the cape also fitting miguel's bigger build definitely a longer more powerful cape it is pretty bulky though since they did decide to mold it out of straight plastic um so not a lot of posability coming from that overall though i do think sh figure arts did a fantastic job capturing the look of miguel in action figure form the chest especially it's an art piece. I couldn't imagine the amount of time it would take to have to go in and make all these little lines, especially going in with a reference, because I have not seen the movie enough to know how any of this looks. So th this could not be movie accurate, and I would not know, honestly. But I can appreciate it, especially when holding it in hand, it definitely makes the figure pop a lot more than the Marvel Legends figure, for example, which was like holding a buff ramen noodle. I don't. I don't know, it was just appalling in my hands. Even on the back, they didn't waste a centimeter of clear space. They wanted to use every spot of the canvas, even the cheeks. Look at the cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. All right, enough of that. And for accessories, you got two fists, two open claw hands, two open palm hands, and an unmasked Miguel head. And of course, his watch. It's much cooler than a watch. Okay. It did also come with a much smaller one that does not fit on him, obviously. This one's meant for Gwen. And I think it's really cool that they included this because it could have just came with Gwen or not really even be included at all. But I am really happy with the way it looks on her. So I'm super stoked that they included this with Miguel. He comes with two pretty cool web effects. Although I would have really been happy to see more different designs just for more versatility. Still up though. Now, before we get into articulation, I do want to mention that I already did the upper torso modification where I just flipped that peg upside down because the disc completely prohibits it. So this is how it looks when it's done. So that allows for a lot more movement. Removing that thing was a bitch, so be careful. The articulation though is absolutely beautiful. You can get this guy in a lot of different poses. He's super expressive. There's not a lot limiting him, especially after you get the diaphragm joint fixed. You can even make bro lat spread in case you want him to flex on any Afro-Latino kids trying to save their dad. And as you can see, torso is moving like butter now that we got that peg flipped around. I would definitely recommend it if you have the time and finger strength to get that thing out. But, as I said, please be careful. This guy is an expensive figure, so you do not want to be breaking him. And despite his bulging physique, Miguel still has no problem getting into those deep Spider-Man poses that just look so, so beautiful and so natural to him. The saggy butt is wild, though. And I think for how many different angles of Miguel's yelling face that we got in the movie that it was a huge missed opportunity for SH Figure Arts to include any other heads rather than just the weird expression that we did get with Miguel. Even a squinty masked face would have been nice. I did also want to mention that after directly taking him out of those poses that the lower back started to get caught on that inner piece and it started to cut up on a little bit of the plastic but after getting it out it, it went down perfectly but it does get stuck if you move it too far forward so definitely be careful of that. And on to the size comparisons here he is with Miles and Gwen, Spider-Man Unlimited and Scarlet Spider, Peter B. Parker and Spider-Punk, Spot and his little brother. And for those of you who are curious. All right, 
When I got my figure out of the box, I did notice that the left shoulder ended up freezing up on me and I had to dabble a little bit of soap in there just so that way nothing would break. I'm not sure how common this is, it might have just been my figure, but it is worth mentioning just in case. A common QC issue I have seen with this figure is the kneecaps constantly popping off. I too have found myself in that pickle and it's a pretty simple fix if you don't mind putting glue on your figures. Just a little dot of glue and all your problems go away, but otherwise you I'm gonna have to suffer in silence because they just will keep popping off when it's all said and done you have your knees glued your torso flipped and you're just posing around your figure he is honestly so much fun i had an absolute blast animating the first few scenes from the movie and now i want to recreate the entire thing honestly so you might as well stay tuned for that now that i have all of the characters i need i'd say that this is a really solid figure he it feels very high quality, and at least after you get past the, the common issues that SH Figure Arts can't get around. It does feel like Miguel in my hands, and that's something that SH Figure Arts has done and I hope will continue to do super well going forward with this Across the Spider-Verse slash Beyond the Spider-Verse line, I'm hoping. Because they've so far done an amazing job with Miles, Gwen, and now Spider-Man 2099. Well. Those are my thoughts on this guy, so maybe if he's a bit cheaper. But, you know, I still think he's awesome, honestly. I'd highly recommend him. So, uh, that's all from me. That's all I got. Um, thanks for watching, and until we meet again, adios.